HRM TV people! <laughs> right, then. another video on roofs, people. So, this is the problem in here is water is finding its way into this property here. So, this one from there to there, and water's going in. But then the, the landlord actually turned around to me and said, But John, it's had a new roof, so it can't be the roof. So we know it's had a new roof because if you see this here, this is the felt, the breathable felt. So how this works is you've got strips of wood holding each row of tiles and underneath this, you've got this membrane. Now this membrane here, breathable membrane, this is when the water falls between these cracks in the tiles, it's the membrane that does the work because it's waterproof. So the idea is that anything that falls through these cracks and any roof that gets underneath the tiles, that's like the second layer of defence. And obviously the water that gets underneath the tiles runs and runs into the gutter. So we've got tiles and then the felt underneath and obviously that runs into the gutter. Which is all well and good and that's how it should be. However, on these older buildings, underneath the gutter, here, we've got some stepped brickwork out. So if you can see underneath there, how it steps out. So we call that corbelling. But the thing is, any water that comes down past here and sits on top of this brickwork, so if it's driving rain and the rain's coming down, yes, some will go inside there, but some will also go underneath. Because these are all flat spots, it means the water's sitting on this tray all the way along. So what we tend to do is lead over the top of it, because if you've got an older membrane, so what we call Slater's felt, a common problem with that is it's the same principle, it's still here, it's still underneath these tiles, but then the UV rays like attack it and it breaks down and it goes to it goes to bits. And then eventually what it does is it'll go so far up here that it might have rotted. So then any water that gets underneath this end bit will run back of the tile and then it, it won't find its way into the gutter and it'll find its way here onto this brickwork and then all this ends up being flooded and the water goes soaks through the brickwork and goes down onto the inside of the property. So what actually needs happening here is along, all along this brickwork, I would suggest that we put some sort of lead. I mean, there is like cheaper versions now, there's like a lead replacement stuff that you can get or some sort of mineral felt. But I think it wants some sort of, wants something that goes in there and tucks up behind the guttering, so it forms a barrier. So any water that does go in there, it doesn't go back into the property. Because obviously the brick wall there, it, the water will just run through the cement and find its way onto the inside. So there's me on a roof, and I hope that's a good explanation. I hope you get the principle. So that's when we're talking about water getting in, water getting in underneath the first meter of felt, that's generally how it happens. So to recap again, the water runs down. Some water will find its way through the cracks. Underneath there, we need to have a second layer of defense, which is the felt. Sometimes it's the old stuff or it's the new stuff. This is the new stuff because it's breathable. And that's your second layer of defense, and that should go into your guttering. And obviously if that, per if that perishes, the water will get underneath under your corbelling if your house has got corbelling and then it's got an easy way to get inside and the water runs between your brickwork. So the way around it is, put some flashing along there and it should fix it. There we go people, I'll love you and leave you. HIMTV out.